Hey, it's River Bluff Baggers here. Uh, today we're gonna do a small install. Tom, you wanna go over what we did today? Yeah, uh, in our last video, if you watched it, if not, go back and watch it. We seen a lot of deer on the highway, so a friend of ours watched it and uh, purchased this for us and let us put it on one of our bikes. We're gonna show you what we, how we installed it and where we put it, what it sounds like. So, here we go. So what we installed here is the Hornet, the electronic deer deterrent. It, uh, it's got electricity that goes to it, so you got a switch that comes with it. You got all these here that come, everything comes with it to be installed. It's got several different kinds of mounts to mount it, uh, different ways to mount it. It's supposed to be mounted at a 45 degree angle. Uh, then it's got power to it. Now it comes with a switch. I didn't hook the switch up. I got an auxiliary switch that I don't use on the bike. I've got an Ultra Classic. So I have nothing that goes to that. So we wired this in to the auxiliary switch. So when I turn the bike on, I turn that on, the whistle will go on. And just to let you hear it. And we got it mounted underneath the floorboard and it's pretty loud with the, without anything running so i can turn it off and still ride down the road if i want to so we mounted it underneath here and it's hooked to the floorboard the front screw on the floorboard we had to modify the bracket just a little bit because that shoulder bolt was a little bigger than the hole but uh, we thought that was a safe place to put it won't be dragging up there uh, and it's going to be in the front of the bike to where hopefully they'll hear me coming so just a little safety tip for motorcyclists uh, you can find these online uh, electronic deer uh, avoidance system uh, the hornet it uh, runs about 85 bucks if you buy it that comes in chrome or black so if you wanted black you could get black um, he had chrome for me since my bike's mostly chrome so um, it's we're gonna give it a try uh, we'll tell you later on down this summer uh, if it worked for us and see what happens so yeah we're not sure if it works or not but uh, as many deer as we see around in Kansas uh, and like you know the rest of you people see them in Nebraska and up north a lot so we figured we'd give it a try and see if it works if it doesn't work we didn't lose nothing but if it does work then we gained a bunch so. and thanks James for letting us put this on one of our bikes and purchase it for us so uh, we appreciate it and uh, we'll see you down the road thank you So in today's video, we installed the deer whistle, the Hornet deer avoidance system, I think is what it's actually called. Yeah. And today we rode up to, or tonight actually, as you can see, it's dark outside. We just got home. We rode up to Rulo and uh, we seen several deer yeah. on the way home. It's deer heaven up through there, Highway 7 from uh, Troy, Kansas to Rulo, Nebraska. Deer it's everywhere. Deer heaven. And tonight, what did we see? We, we seen, I mean, we seen probably, I don't know, 10 deer probably. 10 deer. And the last ones we seen was actually running away from my bike. Yeah. Now, we don't know if that's because it was coming up the highway. Four of us. There was four of us tonight. And we don't know if there was, because there was four of us coming up on Harleys, it was loud, or if the whistle was really working. I was in front, and we seen them, and they was running to the right of us, away I, from us. I think what I seen on the, the deer that was off to the right of us, it looked like they were stopped and just kind of stunned because they heard it. And then when we start rolling up closer, that's when they took off yeah. running. So I think it does do something. Yeah. Um, you know, because they stopped. Yeah. It wasn't moving no more. Yeah. Until we got to them. So, like we said in the video, I hooked it up to my auxiliary. I turned it on when we left the uh, bar, the Wild Bills. 
Um, you can't hear it real good. You can hear it at lower speeds, yeah. but higher speeds you can't hear it. Uh, I got a little clip here that I was going about 35 mile an hour. I set the tripod up, turned the whistle on, drove by. You can hear it coming at you um, a little bit. So it's, it's a little annoying if you're at low speeds, but I guess safety first. If anything keeps you a little safer on the motorcycle, you're already taking risks. It's worth it. So yeah, it. yeah, and it and it's really not eighty five bucks. Yeah, it, it's not that bad, and no, it's not it's not annoying. So you can't no, really see it on the bike or nothing. No, that, so. no, it, and it's and it it whistles, so you don't you know it's not like the whistles you buy and you stick on your car and you don't know if they really work or not. You can actually hear this one, so yeah, it's actually you know, electronic. It's yeah. electric, so so. You know, check it out if you think you're in need of one. If you ride around Deer Haven like we are, um, we're hoping it's going to save us and protect us. So anything we can do safely, we're going to try to do it. We've added some lights to each. Yeah. Each bike's actually added a little bit of lights, safety-wise. So we got flashing tail lights, flashing trunk lights. So you know, anything we can do to make it a little bit safer and bring to you guys. And we'll we'll put it out here and see how it goes. So, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you're interested, check the link in the uh, description. And uh, money well spent at this point. Yep. So, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. Make sure you share and subscribe. Thank you.